Jake, with your no contest, uh, would this be something that you'd be interested in running back and doing a rematch? I, well, I'm obviously disappointed with the, the finish tonight. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think I need him at all. Is it something that I'd be interested in running back? I don't know. He didn't really want to. He didn't really seem like he wanted to fight tonight. So, what's what's going to change the next time? Is he going to really want to fight next time? I mean, I'm, I'm a competitor. I'm a fighter. I'm get, I'm doing so much right now, trying to get myself better. And for him to do something like that, it just whatever. When you, when you say you didn't think you needed him at all, did you mean in the moment, or do you mean? I mean, did like did you watch replays? Or I mean, we all have cups on out there. I didn't fill a cup. Uh, you can watch it back. I saw his leg lift up from the knee. Um, but I can't control that. It's something that I got to move on from. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm here to fight, and I, I just don't think he was tonight. How frustrating is that to, to, to go through a camp and to be, you know, like we talked about the other day, you had great momentum this first year out of the gate, and then just kind of have it shut down without, uh, well, you know, I'm healthy, I got paid, and I still have a TV show on Wednesday nights on TNT, so mm -hmm. there could be worse things, there could be a way worse finish. Um, I think this is a, a great learning curve for me, it'll be a bump in the road, um, but I'm only going to keep getting better, I'm only going to keep working harder, and stuff like this only motivates me, and so I think sooner than later you're going to see me back in here and to get that next W. I'm sure you want to get back in the game just as soon as possible. Is there anyone you have your eyes on? Um, at this moment, not right now. Uh, but like I said, sooner than later, I want to get in there. Um, I feel, you know, after these three fights in one year that I, I, I proven that I belong here as a heavyweight um, and I'm not playing games. And uh, we're just going to keep getting better. That's all I can focus on. I'm going to focus on me and the hard work, and we'll see where it takes us. It usually takes care of itself, though. Jake, you the knee, uh, uh, the shot. Uh, how did you think the fight was going for you before that happened? Oh, I felt like it, w it was going to be coming to an end soon. He was a very strong guy. Um, I had him up against the cage, and uh, he was clinching onto me, trying to avoid the wrestling, which was smart. Uh, but I feel like I was leaps and bounds ahead of him and better than him. And it would only have been a matter of time before something landed and dropped him. And uh, I mean, look, my whole strategy tonight was to put myself in an uncomfortable position and gain that valuable cage experience on my feet. And I got that. I got a good time on my feet and I learned a lot tonight. Um, unfortunately, he just didn't want to fight anymore. Mentioned the pro wrestling duties. Uh, when you wake up tomorrow, I mean, is it is your brain's already switched on to pro wrestling mode? Is MMA still in the, in the back of your mind? How do you like maneuver through that whole thing? Yeah, you know, it's something that comes with the experience. Um, I have a lot of experience in the pro wrestling world, so it's easy to switch over to that level and uh, perform at a high level, um, and then mix it in. Uh, you know, Bellator MMA with that, it's, in, it's incredible. It's definitely something that I take week by week and make adjustments and, you know, just be brutally honest with myself. Um, it's definitely going to need a couple days to get some rest and let it sink in, but I'm, I'm going to be there Wednesday night for AEW, and uh, you're going to see more of this. Okay, quick question here. Right now, you're serving two matches. You got AEW, which is your pro wrestling, you know, Bellator, your MMA company. Uh, we've seen this before with Bobby Lashley. Or at the same time? At the same time, yeah. Bobby. He fought and wrestled at the same time? He fought and wrestled at the same time, yes. Okay, I'll my question, check that. My question for you is this. Are you worried that there might come a day where one of these two is going to say, well, you need to be a full-time pro wrestler or full-time MMA fighter? Because that's tough juggling both and going from one to the other. The only thing I'm worried about is carrying the AEW Heavyweight Championship and the Bellator Heavyweight Championship at the same time. That's what I got to juggle. Um, it's, it's definitely going to be a work in progress. I don't mean to talk trash, but it's something I definitely can handle. And I think uh, it shows that not everyone can do this. And, of course, you know, AEW is on fire right now, and I want to give it a lot of my time because I want that company to grow, and I want another place for wrestling fans to go and watch, especially good wrestling. 
And this is another thing. I want to help Bellator grow. I want to help the sport of MMA grow, and I want to grow my brand. It's definitely a juggling app, but I have so many people around me. My wife makes sacrifices every day in order for me to do this work. And uh, my team has been awesome, and we're just going to keep, you know, we're going to stick together, and we're going to keep doing what we've been. One or two more, yeah. Gene, just to clarify, you don't believe you hit him in the groin. Are you saying that he just wanted out? I believe he wanted out of that cage, yes. Uh, you saw how he reacted after the first one, and that was clear, it hit him right in the arm. And so I think that says all it needs to be said about it. He didn't want to be in there anymore. Uh, the referee ruled that you hit him in the groin twice. A lot of fans on social media thought you should have got disqualified. What do you have to say to people who are saying you should have got disqualified? Yeah, go get certified as a ref. <laughs> Jake, having all of uh, your wrestling friends and everybody watching you have this fight, even though the decision or the no contest isn't really what you wanted to have happen, how did that feel to have Batista and everybody out there watching you and the support? It's incredible. I, I would not be up here without guys like Dave Batista, Chris Jericho, Josh Rafferty, you know, my team. They sacrificed so much for me. And it really is humbling to have that type of support. And... Uh, Look forward to doing it more. Thank you, guys.